hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, in this tutorial i am showing how to uh, set the electrical power systems and everything okay so we need to place the sockets and uh, um, db and how to develop this uh, 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 the panel schedules and uh, how to edit that uh, templates and everything i will show you so first of all we go to the system tab and just uh, select our e electrical equipment and then we need to one db okay so for example i am just placing this one okay and i i just duplicated this one uh, like uh, I, I need to duplicate and uh, just give the name uh, pp01 and here also you can um, type mark and everything uh, you can give the details if you need you can give the uh, some details over here okay just uh, click okay so the uh, panel is come over here and select the panel and just to give the name panel name over here like we can say like this one is uh, db dash pp power one okay so i'm giving the name of db pp one and just type tg and just to select this one okay so for example t type g tg and uh, check the leader and just select this one and just if you if you selected this one and you have like attached and free end okay just give the free end and you just to structure like that and you can adjust the tag like this okay so select the tag and you can edit edit type and you can change from here uh, so for some arrows some arrows you can give it okay so for example i'm just giving 50 arrow so you can get the arrows and everything so like that we can give the uh, db name okay for example i need to create one more db so select that one uh, otherwise you can copy this one okay copy it cc cc for copy or otherwise you select here and copy this one and this one you can select over here and this panel we can give uh, in the name you can edit edit here and duplicate this one and we will we'll say that like that this one is a two okay so just click okay and here we need to give the db naming okay so for example here uh, is the panel name is showing over here so just give the panel name okay panel name is here so just type this one db2 okay and then and then what we need to do just uh, i will just uh, um, escape that one okay so just to give the tag okay so tag and just give this one and you can place the uh, name like this okay so like that you can create the db and then next step is like we need to give some um, sockets okay so start out from here i will just go to system and go to the device okay so here we need to give one single sockets okay so just to give that one single sockets over here and one single sockets over here and one single sockets over here and another one and i need to give another uh, one uh, uh, double sockets okay so just go there and uh, uh, we need to give some other sockets okay for example this one um so so i need two uh, double sockets over here or otherwise here okay otherwise we can give give two sockets over here just place that one and here also need need two sockets so you can simply place that one okay and the, the the elevation you can change it okay so select this all sockets and we can say like this one is a 450 okay so it was coming up on the 450 mm so select this one create similar and you can give one single sockets over here one single sockets over here and here okay and here also one and here also one you can simply place that one okay so create similar this one so if you need uh, double sockets so you can give the uh, as per the purpose of the room and everything you can give the uh, sockets okay so for example here you need double and here also double and here also double and here also and here also and here you need okay so as per the uh, requirement you can give the single or double sockets okay and uh, so just to create another sockets okay so create similar and we we, we need to give some uh, per general purpose sockets over here so like that you can give the sockets okay uh, for example here you need one and here here also you need one okay just tab it and uh, 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 give give the sockets over here okay okay like that you can give the sockets okay so just tab tab this one and place the proper wall okay so like that we are giving that uh, sockets okay so i'm giving over here also sockets and here also sockets 
and some double sockets also we need to place create similar cs or otherwise click here and you can create similar from here okay and just placing some sockets over here so easily you can place the sockets like this and uh, uh, and another thing you need to place some sockets over uh, in this room also so place this one and place like this okay place like this and even even here also you can give some sockets for the general purpose and other and for this corridor also you can give some sockets okay so you just uh, make like that okay once you've done that one you need to create a uh, circuit for this one okay so for example here also you need some single sockets okay so i'm placing some single sockets over here and here also you can give some single sockets and uh, uh, wherever you need you can give that one okay simply you can place that uh, sockets so okay we started from here the circuit numbers okay for example we will just selecting this one all all circuit we all the sockets we selected and we need to give a power select the power then uh, we need to select the voltage and okay click okay then we need to select the panel okay so we'll have two panel i'm just choosing pp1 okay then you can choose the wire okay for example i am choosing arc wire okay arc wire i am choosing so that will come up over here okay then uh, that that it was it was showing it was uh, connecting to this uh, panel okay so it was showing like that you can just adjust this one okay like this you can adjust it so it means it, this this will be go to the the panel number uh, uh, pp1 okay and same thing you need to do it over here select these things okay and select this one give power okay i'm choosing this one okay and just give arc wire okay so that that means it this circuit will go to here and the same thing for this one okay select these things okay so this this or oh, this this and select that one and select this okay and uh, you just this is also P, uh, go to the pp1 okay so like that we can arrange the circuiting okay for example here okay and this one you can select it and give power so this is simple method the same way you can use it okay so i am choosing that one and giving as arc wire okay so it means it will go there okay so um, this this all part i need to give pp1 okay and then down part i need to give pp2 okay so this part i am just selecting these three sockets uh, give a power okay select this one and just to give the power for this one so that was going over there and select this three socket give a power select this one and uh, you just need to give this one okay so it was going to that uh, db okay then we we'll select this one give a power uh, select this voltage and uh, we just give a this one so this all circuit going to this uh, pp1 and i am starting from here to the pp2 okay the otherwise otherwise you can do this one this one you need to go to the pp1 also so select that one give this one and give arc wire for that okay so it means uh, this was connected to this um, uh, uh, this was connected to um, this pp1 okay so like that you can give the um, uh, uh, circuiting okay so for example here you need to give another uh, db select this one and you just need to give the pp2 over here okay and uh, arc wire okay so that means it was it, it means so you can adjust it something okay if you need if you don't like this uh, routing so you can just uh, adjust it like that okay so strike this one and you just need to place this one up to here okay um sorry you can place to the this one to here okay so like that you can adjust the circuiting also so select this thing okay and give power okay just select this one so it will go to the pp2 okay so same thing for here so i'm selecting this four sockets and giving power and just selecting the voltage and uh, giving a wire okay okay so this is simple method so this uh, this also you can uh, give it the power okay like select this one and you can give the power for that okay so this is also here also two uh, double sockets so it's select that like that select the voltage and give the power and give arc wire okay so even in the corridor also some sockets are there so we'll connect together with this one or otherwise you can leave leave this this area okay so select this one and give a power 
select this one and it was automatically it will go to the power 2 okay so select these three sockets okay then we need to give this one to here okay so then and then oh sorry and just select this one and tab it okay and just uh, tab this one and select the wire okay so that will go to the db2 so once you're done we need to start with this uh, circuit number okay for example here is one uh, circuit okay so just we need to give a circuit number for this one okay so we can say like this one is um, this circuit is uh, dbpp1 first circuit okay so it was coming like that and we just need to give a free end so you can just uh, give like this okay circuit number so how we can edit this circuit number so click over there and edit family so you can uh, select this uh, uh, this one and you, if you need only the panel so you can remove this one okay this this all uh, you can remove it and uh, even, even click this one and uh, you can remove this one click okay and load to load it to there so overwrite existing parameter so it will show only only the db name okay so you can edit the same thing and you can just go here and give, just give a 15 arrow okay so if you need another circuit numbers and another details you can add the parameter labs uh, label from here so for for example you need to add circuits okay then uh, panel name also there and some other details if you need you can uh, give give that one okay for example circuit number and another another some details you need a circuit descriptions okay so you can just add that one click okay and just load into the project and just overwrite okay so that will come up over here okay so like that we are giving the um, naming of this one and create similar and just give another circuit uh, another this one so just select this one and place it in some other uh, good area okay and you can just give a free end okay so wherever you need you can just give that one okay for example this is coming up to here okay so just need to uh, give this one uh, this is attached and free end okay so you just give the circuit from here so simply you can uh, give the tag like that okay so the same process you need to give it uh, everywhere this is sec uh, this is third circuit and second circuit is which one you uh, tag this one okay okay you can place like this okay and uh, the third one is we given and uh, fourth one is this one so you can give that one and even even this one you, you can arrange it like uh, wherever you are getting a space you can uh, arrange the circuit number as per the uh, as per your spacing and everything and beautifully you can arrange it that things okay so like that you can arrange the circuit numbers uh, most probably all we given okay so for example here you need one circuit so just give like that okay and another thing is where we miss it no nothing is missed and we just need to start with this one so this one is pp2 so you can give the circuit number from here like that okay and this one you can also give the circuit number like this so wherever you're getting space you can just give that one okay so for example this one you need to give the circuit number you can place like this and you can place it like that okay and this one also you can place like that okay just place the circuit so once you've done that one so all the circuit uh, numbers and everything is placed okay so we need to develop uh, uh, this one like a um, panel schedule for this one okay so how we can do that one you just to go here and manage tab, manage tab and you will have a like here is some settings okay manage template so we are using this one means so you can uh, you can edit something over here and you can do it that one okay click okay and you can edit template also just to go open here uh, so here is only showing 16 circuit for uh, everything okay so if you want to uh, make it more okay so you can change from here even even it is 24 ways so you can fix it that one 24 or uh, the other ways you can make it is is it 12 ways okay so you can just make it 12 ways and even uh, you need to make uh, this one like uh, uh, 16 ways so you can make it that one and the lines and everything you can um, set it from here and circuit table also you can choose whichever you need 
load summary you can add it all the things okay so i'm just keeping that one 16 okay and then we need to go uh, finish the template settings and go to anal analytics analyze okay then you can create the panel schedule okay create here so there will be two uh, uh, over there so you can check two okay click okay so the panel uh, db1 is created um, and just uh, you can see here db pp1 all the circuit number pp1 the circuit number showing here here and all the loads and everything will come up over here okay so you can uh, get the loads and everything and uh, whatever the things over there you can uh, get it the things from here the same for same process for this one panel schedule okay um, sorry uh, uh, so you already get it from db1 and 2 okay so you can go here and you can get it uh, all the uh, details from here okay so like that we can arrange the uh, panel schedules and everything so hopefully you this video if 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 you understood please subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet thanks for watching thank you